triumph of the holy cross the pascal mystery that is a life passion death and resurrection of our lord and savior jesus christ is a source and promise of eternal life the ultimate and abiding symbol of this glorious of all mysteries in the is a cross on which hung the world salvation the victory of the cross over sin and death was total and it is the totality of this victory this joyful triumph that the church celebrates in this feast the feast was originally known as the exaltation of the cross the word exaltation meaning placing high according to high importance lifting up the feast has a fourfold significance for every believer firstly the lifting up of the cross on calvary hill that fateful friday had involved much suffering and shame yet it was a sacrifice for the love of the father and for the love of the father bore all human kind raised high up jesus made the cross a pulpit whence he preached by word and example the most stirring sermon of his entire ministry on earth he forgave and he gave out of every one of his wound flowed grace from his side was born the church and before he breathed his last he gave to all humankind the gift of his own mother mary the cross is indeed the sign of his triumph the vertical beaming beam linking man to god the horizontal beam that stretches across the vertical linking man to man and inseparable to god secondly the erection of the cross in the church of the holy sepulcher it was in 326 that saint helen the empress and mother of emperor constantine discovered three crosses on calvary a miracle worked by touching a cripple to each of these three crosses in turn helped identify the true cross consequently she had the cross exalted in her palace in rome which she got converted to the monumental church of the holy cross thanks to her effort innumerable fragments of this cross found their way to every part of christianity and according to saint john chrysostom were so reverenced to be encased in gold and worn around the neck a portion of the true cross was also kept in jerusalem but in the year 614 the city was invaded by persia which had its army a massive number of jews who given a free hand laid siege to all vestige of christian sovereignty in the once holy city destroying every christian sanctuary the persian king kushro triumphantly carried away the silver casket containing 
the relics of the true cross to Iran. However, about 629, when Emperor Heraclius recaptured Persia, he retrieved the sacred relics and brought it to Constantinople and then to Jerusalem, where he had it exalted for public veneration and reaffirmed Hardian's old law forbidding entry of any Jew into Jerusalem. This was when the feast was incorporated into the Roman Church. Thirdly, the triumphal sign of the cross at the Last Judgment. Jesus said to Nicodemus, Just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. John chapter 3 verse 14 and 15 As on Good Friday, the cross divided those present on Calvary into two groups, so too, when on the last day, the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven. Matthew chapter 24 verse 30 All of us shall know whether our place is on the left or on the right. Finally, the acceptance and dedication up to the cross of Christ by every believer. The crucifix has a place of honor in every Christian heart, home and place of worship. It is in and with the sign of the cross that we begin our actions. Indeed, whatever we do, we do as a part in bearing the cross of Christ and thus share in the redemption of the world. Behold the wood of the cross on which our Saviour hung. Come, let us adore Him. Behold the wood of the cross on which our Saviour hung. Come, let us adore Him. Behold the wood of the cross on which hung our Saviour. Come, let us adore Him.